The governor's decision to bring in the National Guard came after we found out the state is among the slowest in the country when it comes to giving the vaccine to people. Our Capitol reporter Michael Highland is live in Raleigh. And Michael, you talked one on one with Dr. Mandy Cohen today. What did she say about why North Carolina isn't further along? Yeah, she acknowledged the state does need to improve on this. She says some of this is tied to timing as well as trying to get the vaccine to every county across the state. We have some new data from the state today showing about 109,000 people in the state have received their first dose of a vaccine. But we know from the CDC, almost half a million doses have been sent here. So I asked Dr. Cohen about the speed of this vaccination campaign and why she believes bringing in the National Guard is going to make a difference. The governor hasn't said specifically what they'll be doing, but Dr. Cohen said it'll include logistical help, actually vaccinating people, and helping with other issues as hospitals and health departments raise them. Was there at any point a concern that the hospitals were just going to be overwhelmed, not only with dealing with the people coming in with COVID-19, but then simultaneously having to handle this new vaccine administration program? Did they need help from the outside sooner than this? No, that's a great question, and we are in constant conversations with our hospitals about their capacity. This is a lot of what they, they do day in and day out, year after year. They do vaccinations. Um, and we wanted, as a state, to prioritize getting to all 100 counties quickly. Um, and so we wanted to use the infrastructure we have. But again, we know some folks are you know, running ahead, doing great. Others need some more support. I also got a copy of a letter the state sent to hospitals and local health departments outlining problems with getting accurate data about the number of shots being given and warning that could impact how many doses we get in the future. I asked Dr. Cohen whether the state did enough on the front end to cut down on some of these issues before the vaccine got here. You'll hear what she had to say about that coming up new at 6. Live in Raleigh, Michael Highland, CBS 17 News. All right, Michael, thank you.